Alrighty, you guys, I'm going to be doing Sagittarius's December re reading, and happy birthday to all my Saggies out here. We are in Sagittarius season, so I hope you guys are thriving and surviving here. Um, so, I'm just kind of cleansing the area here. Um, so, we're going to dive into the Celtic deck um, spread, sorry. And take the energies how it resonates. This is not going to resonate for every single person, every single Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, and if that is the case and you're looking for a private reading, my information is in the description box. Um, also, take the time to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So let's dive right in, shall we? So I'm using the psychic um, the psychic tarot deck. Alrighty, and I will clarify with one of these right awake um, versions of the right awake here if need be, but usually I don't need to. Um, all right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, higher up, come down with probable messages for Sagittarius, December reading. December energy reading. What's going on? All right. Celtic spread. Let's see here. So what's what's happening now, Spirit? Um, well, what is the current energy, overall energy that's going to be happening? Okay. So challenges and obstacles. So I do feel, this makes me feel like you ran into an obstacle that you didn't think was going to occur. You're like, oh my goodness, whoops, wow, didn't see this coming. Be prepared to, and this almost feels like maybe this is an obstacle within your circle, someone who's close to you in your close tribe here. I feel like this is something that you can um, immediately get a handle on. All right, what's, what's the difficulty? Okay, so you lost somebody. There, there was a loss here. I felt like someone stepped out of the situation when it comes to matters of their heart. Um, I feel like this disconnect came abruptly. Maybe someone pulled out of communication or a relationship with you. And you kind of have to deal with that. And a difficulty is pretty much like acting as if you're okay and you're not. So, what's going? What, what brought this about in the immediate past? Mm. This is interesting. Because I got this energy when I was pulling on myself last night. And I'm a Sagittarius moon. So what brought this about? It feels like someone was growing in the same direction. Okay. This feels like someone wasn't really growing outside of their habits. So like they're growing and they're just growing. You know, uh, you know they say um, be mindful of movement. Because movement you can also be running in place. So this feels like. Some, you could have left someone because they were running in place. Things weren't really developing how they should have been. Or someone left you because things weren't really... Uh, it, this feels like some, someone was just growing. And like maybe they're acting like change is coming. They're doing something differently. But really they're just growing in the same energy that they've been in. It's kind of like they're trying. someone was trying to show up differently in the past. But really couldn't really take on a different energy. Um, it feel like someone kind of grow outside their circle or outside their beliefs here. Um, that's the feeling that I get. Um, alrighty, so what what's coming in the future tense here? Alright, so this feels like someone's going... So you're you're going back to get something that you lost you're like oh no i can't lose like this right someone's going back to gain power over their feelings over their emotions over the feeling uh over the situation what is sagittarius aware of hmm 
this makes me feel like you're conscious of bringing light into a bad situation because here I do feel like someone's not trying to act like this is a really big deal but clearly if you're going back to try to change some things going back to try to change some things this is a big deal and I feel like you you, you do a really good job as trying to make light if you can see that yeah. light of something that may be bothering you like trying to find you know they say Sagittarius are very optimistic so it's like trying to uh, make light of the situation or find light in the situation or find the good and the lesson learned in the situation um and it, but it feels like there's a lesson that needs to be learned make sure you're learning that lesson because a lot of people feel like they learned the lesson um and it's distorted uh, the people come up with so many disillusionments and that's what this feels like here uh, what what is Sagittarius? What are they going to be unaware of in the month of December? Let's see here. Okay, I feel like you're going to be. <laughs> it's going to like okay. So this is a lot of you birthday months, and I don't feel like your birthday month is going to be booming as much as you think it's going to be. To be quite honest, you know. I don't think it's going to be like all oh, just super popping how you feel. I don't feel like it is. And it could be due to COVID. Um, but it's not going to be as popping poppin as you think it, it will be, to be honest. What, what advice do we have? Moderation. Do things in moderation for the month of December. This is a very much so Sagittarius type card. Also Libra. Um, but bringing things into balance with whatever it is that you're dealing with and I see someone trying to do this but not as far as repressing it but honestly honoring it and being able to fully say okay with this obstacle and with this light and with this amount of money I can move forward in this way because some people would totally act like they ain't going through something and just act like things are all in harmony and they're not so it's really saying honor Honor the energy that's around you and bring the energy that is around you into true balance. Because uh, if you're not honoring an aspect of what's going on, you, you really aren't going to bring anything into balance. It's like, again, disillusionment. Um, what is the outside forces that's going to be affecting Sagittarius in the month of December, Spirit? financial changes so this is like all oh, this is a card of for me kind of like a financial disruption a lack mentality it's kind of like the five of pentacles i feel like someone's gonna short you again i just feel like it's your birthday month i don't feel like everything that you thought was gonna come about as far as like victorious having fun celebratory uh maybe due to covid or maybe you just didn't manage your finances maybe something happened with your unemployment something happened with your job it just really looks like you're unable to celebrate because you got shorthanded so you're really trying to bring things into balance, into fulfillment with, um, and Spirit's telling you to, regardless of the obstacle, financial, love, um, however this shows up for you, try to just bring things into balance. Try to neutralize the energy and work with what you got. Gratitude for what, what, what you do have and what is gonna be going on. Okay, so what are what's in your hopes and dreams? Some of you could be um, getting a divorce, okay? Some of you could be getting a divorce. And then when I said that, I do see that um, whoever you're trying to let go of, it feels like someone doesn't want to let go of someone, okay? You could be in a third-party situation here, and there's, some per there's someone you want to move towards, and there's someone you want to let go of, and it looks like... You're, it feels like two energies here. It feels like you are trying not to let go of someone, but in order to not let go of someone, you have to let go of someone else, and that someone else does not want to let go of you. So it, it feels like there there's there's a third party situation going on here. Okay. Yes. In order to have this new beginning, you have to let go of some old energy. 
and uh, I feel like y'all been going around and around for a while now. This is this is really heavy for me. This is really really heavy for me. So y'all comment, you tell me what you. And it goes a third party there again. I know I wasn't tripping. Um, very strong energy. Okay, you guys. You can even be in a situation with someone like you, you've been telling me you're going to get a divorce. You guys might be separated, but energetically, this person is still holding this this over you. And you guys could not be actually on paper, but it is some type of separation that needs to happen, okay? There's some cutting of the hand, like get your hand out that cookie jar, okay? So there's some type of ritualistic, um, energetic thing that needs to happen. Something needs to be cut off, okay? There needs to be be some clarity when it comes to partnership and I feel like you want that um, but it, it feels like there's some changes that are going to have to come about um, whether it's you moving moving away from a job um, leaving a job to go be close I mean when you think about third party situations it can be a job it can be um, a place it can be a person okay so what is the outcome of this please spirit the outcome of this okay and this is such a Sagittarius card Ooh, the outcome is this I feel satisfaction I feel like whoever this person you're holding on to your hopes because your hopes and dream is like losing someone and or being able to keep someone there's there's a thin line am I gonna lose this person or am I gonna keep them okay because uh, somebody is some changes coming on somebody is about to like really like cut you off um here so, anyway, with this, I feel like there's a new beginning coming in. Um, maybe you do let that other thing go to start. Because at the bottom of the deck, you do have transformation. So, I do see something transforming. Yeah, new beginnings, like I said. Uh, okay, so maybe you're going to finally honor this person that you're not trying to uh, let go of. I don't think that they trust you, though. There's, there's trust that needs to be developed here. There's there's a need of trust. Yes, someone doesn't trust you. Someone doesn't think they have full clarity. So some emotions are... Pa it's like someone might have sex, right? And you know, sex definitely clogs the mind, right? They might feel confident in whatever it is when it comes to the passion. And they're still looking, because this feels like another energy. They're looking at you as they don't trust you. There's a, there's a lot of work to be done here, because there's this. But I do see that whatever work needs to be done, it you're gonna try to do it. But I don't feel like this person is going to be all in like they used to, like in full partnership and alliance like they used to. Yeah. It's almost like this person has written you off or maybe just even wrote in their journal or spoke to other people about, like, this is a thing of the past. This person is moving out your energy. But for you, I see that you're re ready to, to change some things, to acknowledge the person, to create, to nurture, to bring about new energy. Um, but, uh, you know, when you have shown up continuously in a another lot and again flip the story if it's reversed for you if you've shown up in a particular type of way for so long yeah i can see why this person don't trust you does not trust you all right so let's just get some advice what does sagittarius need to surrender in december surrender to fear so um Surrender to fear. You guys can have fear of like just having a shitty birthday or COVID shutting down shit because someone's bored as hell here. If someone feels it feels like someone doesn't have the money or the people they want to be surrounded with. Maybe right around your birthday, like someone broke up with you or something. Um, so it just feels like an imbalance here, which is saying get balance. It's an imbalance because due to a connection here or material means. It, it, it's, it's different for a couple of you. What else? What else? For December. For Sagittarius December. Ooh. Who can I serve today? So maybe you've been selfish, right? 
maybe it's time for you to give, okay? In a word, in a world lacking soul to soul connections, which is this this here, this energy here, um, small and simple acts um, are what create the biggest and most lasting impact. We shift our own pain and experience in avalanche avalanche of love when we lose ourselves in the service of others. Okay. In a world lacking soul to soul connection, small and simple acts are what creates um, the biggest and lasting impacts. We shift our own pain and experience in an avalanche of love when we lose ourselves in the service of others. Who needs you today? Today's soul action. Listen to your heart. Who needs you? Make one soulful connection today and give solely to spread more love, expecting nothing in return. Notice the joy that you feel when you service others. Okay? So maybe you've been showing up, just doing things solely to have things done for you. I mean, because that energy is very, very real, right? And it's, it's time to show up selflessly and give wholeheartedly without expecting anything in return. Giving with an open heart. All right. What's going on here? Some more advice for Saggies. Adjustments are required. So in order to get out, to bring in balance, and things are in balance, right? So it's saying some adjustments are required. You need to take a, a look at what it is that you need to adjust when it comes to financial, when it comes to the certain obstacles that are in your life. It's like, okay, how am I creating these obstacles? Am I around people who's cre who, who's creating this obstacle, okay? Um, because it, 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 it looks like it's going to really affect your December. What personal power does Sagittarius, Sun, and Rising need to step into, Spirit? Thank you so much. Let's see. I am a healer. This feels like... For some reason, I'm not going to lie, this feels like someone else's energy. And I feel like you guys may be using, and this, you apply it how it feels. It feels like someone may be harping off your energy, or you might be harping off someone else's energy. So when someone is so unhealed and they don't really know the areas or the spots to look at or the spots in which need to be healed, we can kind of cipher energy for uh, from other people. So be careful of doing that and be careful of people doing that to you okay there, there's some healing that needs to be done some adjustment adjustments that need to be done maybe the healing of the mind healing of the heart um sexual energy that needs to be healed i mean that's going to show up differently for everyone all right you guys that is your december reading sagittarius i hope that it resonates uh please check out my information in the post and in the description box and book your very own private reading. Have a great night.